It may not be a location that you associate with the harvest that comes from the water. There are no boats heading for the ocean. In fact, you're not likely to see boats or giant fish nets at all. The Aquaculture Fishery Center at the University of Arkansas is focused instead on helping fish farmers raise better fish at a cost-effective price. Aquaculture is a, a major industry in this state. Arkansas, first of all, is the birthplace of warm water aquaculture in the United States. The very first goldfish farms and minnow farms and catfish farms were here in the state. Today, the, the total farm gate value is about $167 million. Thanks to a growing consumer demand for farm-raised fish, aquaculture has taken off in many parts of the heartland. Factor in feed production, processing, and equipment, and the total economic impact for Arkansas's Delta region is more than one and a quarter billion dollars. These eggs are, are moving right along. These small catfish eggs will be moved to a fish hatchery building for a few weeks and then returned to the ponds until they reach fingerling size. Then they'll be dispersed for various studies. We have a uh, project that's looking at additives to the feed that would uh, then add to the fish flesh. Most of the experiments are management-based experiments so that we can look at what a farmer needs to change on his operation to better his bottom line. A very different research project involves the alligator gar. It's not being raised for eating, but for pest control. Missouri, for example, has got a problem with um, exotic fish and rough fish. And they're interested in controlling them with a native top predator. And these guys, which get to be about seven to eight feet long, are a native top carnivore in the system. Researchers also want to improve levels of healthy omega-3 fatty acids in catfish by including things like flaxseed in their diets. One of the problems right now with that product, though, is that when you, when you add flaxseed oil, it does make the fish taste oilier. The catfish product that people like is a very mild tasting fish and they don't really want it to taste oily as a salmon or as a mackerel or something like that. The center also offers regional fish inspections at its four labs across the state. Farmers bring in fish which are then examined by experts. The farmers leave with advice on changes to improve their product and yield. There's a constant networking that's going on between fish farmers and, and sometimes they hear things and say, I've heard that this is fantastic and is it really? And would you set up an experiment that'll prove or disprove this, this, this idea that's going around? The facility that you have here is unique not only in this country but in the world. Yes, it certainly is. There are very few places that have made the investment in these kinds of facilities here to do this kind of research. Mm -hmm. And why is it so important to uh, fish farmers throughout the United States? They have to have proof before they invest money on their farm, so we have to run the trials here. Laboratory studies and models are fine, but they only go so far. Researchers also carry out extensive investigations on catfish production far afield from the campus. The fish raised overseas are raised under very, very different conditions. Quite frankly, they're not held to the same standards as in the United States. Those issues of quality are critical as U.S. fish farmers compete for consumer dollars on a global scale, meeting the demands of price, but also taste. So that uh, what comes out on your dinner table is even better than, than what you might find on the, on the river or, or in a lake. 